July 11th, 1941, Washington, D.C. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt signs an order putting Major General William J. Donovan in charge of creating a centralized intelligence program, to which Donovan responds, hey, thanks, FDR, before turning to his friend and whispering, what's a centralized intelligence program? We're kidding. Well, kind of. At that time, the U.S. didn't really have a formal agency dedicated to espionage. In fact, there'd been a little bit of opposition to it, with Secretary of State Henry L. Stimson saying in 1929, Gentlemen, do not read each other's mail. Sure. Anyways, with the Second World War looming, Donovan was now in charge of figuring out just how to organize an organization dedicated to espionage. So he turned to his friend Ian Lancaster Fleming, who happened to be the assistant to the head of British naval intelligence. Fleming posted up in Donovan's DC home, and between smoking cigarettes, advised him on how to set up an American intelligence agency. And with this info, Donovan eventually created the Office of Strategic Services, an organization that would go on to become what we know today as the CIA. But who was this international man of mystery? Well, if you don't recognize him, you'll probably recognize his most famous espionage creation, a British special agent by the name of Bond, James Bond. That's right, Fleming was the author of the original James Bond novels. Shocking, positively shocking. With that in mind, what's your favorite Bond film? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Raider Red's Snapchat Discover channel for more Strange Heartland history. I'm Christopher Pillman.